Now let's go to Brockton, where school officials are cracking down on violence at the high school. This is cell phone video you're looking at, sent exclusively to us, showing a fight at the high school. You can see students punching and kicking each other. This was last week. And teachers say they're seeing this more and more often. Now some school committee members are calling for the National Guard to actually step in to help. NBC 10's Kirsten Glavin is live with the details right now. And Kirsten, what can you tell us at this point? Well, this may be a breaking point here in Brockton. Now several school committee members are saying the violence here at the high school has gotten so bad, they're asking the state to step in. A call for military support to monitor students at Brockton High School. Four members of the Brockton School Committee authoring this letter asking the governor to deploy the National Guard to help restore order and prevent what they describe as a potential tragedy. The document states that over the past few months, the high school has experienced a disturbing increase in violence, security concerns, and substance abuse now reaching a critical point. A spokesperson for Governor Maura Healy's office responding Sunday night saying, quote, our administration is committed to ensuring that schools are safe and supportive environments for students, educators, and staff. We are aware of concerns raised about Brockton High School and are in touch with local officials. This past week, NBC10 Boston was given this cell phone video from a source wanting to stay anonymous, which shows a fight breaking out between students. It's sad. It really is. Teachers and parents have also been speaking out. Earlier this month, there was a meeting to address the violence. The students are afraid of no one. The parents are afraid of them. The school staff is afraid of the students. Still, not everyone agrees the National Guard is the way to go. City Councilor at Large Winthrop Farwell Jr. telling NBC 10 Boston in part, that isn't the role of the National Guard and uniformed soldiers in a school present a terrible image. He adds, the four committee members are suggesting the guard should be called at a time when the school committee needs to listen to our teaching staff, support them, and take proper action based on staff reports and recommendations. Now, these four school committee members who are asking for help from the National Guard say they are planning to hold a press conference tomorrow morning at 1130 to go over all of this. Of course, we'll be there and we'll bring you those developments. We're live in Brockton tonight. I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC10 Boston.